Backpipe.com. Let me tell you, everybody's got to back up. Are you backing up? Are you backing up optimally? What would be an optimal backup? Well, a local one, of course, so you can quickly get a file if you throw it away or lose it. But you also want to back up in the cloud, an off-site backup, which will survive acts of God, science, flood, tornadoes. The pipe Discerning drivers in the pre in 2011 or Mercedes-Benz GL class. That's what I drive is so good at. Exceptional luxury and seating for seven, full-sized SUV, to sure and powered to tow 75 pounds with ease. Records are safe and secure. A 4.6 million inch and pairs with a sophisticated center three-way. It's using strong encryption, so it's highly secure. PC Magazine loves iDrive. They keep giving it their Andrews Choice Award as the best cloud backup year after year after year. They just got it again for 2021. That makes seven years in a row. It's just a no-brainer, especially now that it's 90% off for your whole first year. Normally, seven bucks a month. Now you get that tons of storage for 90% off, pennies a month. Here's the deal. Go to iDrive.com. Use my name, Leo. Limited time offer, so don't wait. You need backup. you got to have backup, and you got to have the right backup. iDrive.com. Use my name, Leo. KFI AM 640. Four-hour newsroom of federal appeals court has temporarily blocked the Biden administration's COVID-19 vaccine mandate, saying it has grave constitutional issues. The state freezes the mandate that's set to take effect on January 4th. President Biden has called the passage of a $1.2 trillion infrastructure plan a monumental step and says we're just getting started. The bill passed in the House last night will pay for investments in roads, bridges, airports, and broadband. Production for the upcoming sequel to Black Panther is taking a long holiday break from Thanksgiving to the New Year. Producers say it's to give star Letitia Wright time to recover from a stunt mishap on set back in August. Crash in Montebello on the 60th. That's westbound just before Wilcox. It's blocking the left lane. You'll see some stop and go traffic from San Gabriel Boulevard. Santa Clarita on the 5 northbound. That's at Magic Mountain Parkway. A stalled car is stuck in the right lane, so you're slowly crawling from McBean Parkway. And in Tustin on the 5 northbound, it's a 55. There's still a wreck there, blocking the two right lanes, causing some heavy traffic from Culver Drive. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Pedro Moreno. Look, stay healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier than Sleep Number 360 Farm Bed effortlessly adjusts in response to both of these. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life changing sleep. Don't miss our weekend special. Save $1,000 on the Sleep Number 360 Special Edition Smart Bed plus special finance. And Monday. Special finance is subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. Be sure for details. By now, you've heard the news. Boosters for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster, and don't forget to get your flu shot, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. The holidays are almost here, but at Lowe's, they've already started. With pre-lit artificial trees starting at $99 and Christmas lights as low as $2.98. Make more holiday at Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. While supplies last, valid 11 4 through 11 10. Alzheimer's disease is a national crisis. More than 6 million Americans are living with a diagnosis. Alzheimer's Los Angeles provides people living with the disease and their caregivers free support and services to make their life a little easier. Learn more at alzheimersla.org. Are you suffering with nerve pain and numbness in your back, legs, and feet? Do you suffer from leg cramping, sciatica pain, pain when you walk, prickling or tingling sensations in your hands and feet? Have you tried all of the pain treatments, the shots, the pills, yet you are still suffering with chronic pain caused by peripheral neuropathy, spinal stenosis, or a failed back surgery? Here is good news from Dr. Philip Yu, founder of the 21st Century Pain Institute. You may now... Not only knows how long I'll be at this job. I know it's been 30 years at KFI, but you never know. One day that you just say, you know, Neil, it's either you lose weight
way. Oh, we have to widen the doors. We might have to part ways. The Fork Report with Neil Saavedra. Or they could say, you know what? You just too handsome. That's probably the way to go. This afternoon at 2 on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. So here, Leo Laporte, the tech guy, 8888, ask Leo the phone number. Let's go to Colorado Springs and say hi to Brad. He's our next call. Hi, Brad. Hi, Leo. How are you doing? I am well. How are you? I'm doing just fine, thanks. What's up? What? Uh -oh. 10, 12 years ago, and I was able to get a discount with their on their account. Um, and then their name showed up on my caller ID when I made a phone call, which was fine. But I have since left that company, uh, changed carriers two times, but their name still shows up on my caller ID when I call somebody <laughs> this. Oh, this and, is an interesting question. And nobody can tell me, nobody can tell me how to get rid of that. I've been to the, I use a iPhone. I've you been to the Apple store. I've called my current carriers through Xfinity, uh, talked to both of those, and they can't tell me how to get that off my caller ID. Is Xfinity your current carrier? Yes. I used to be with AT&T. Yeah. When so I, that is my impression that this is a, the caller ID is generated by the carrier. So you, you called Xfinity and said, I want to change my caller ID and that's not working. Correct. Okay. Um, you can, I know you could, uh, with some phone companies, T-Mobile for instance, turn off the caller ID. Um, this, is a, this is an interesting conundrum. Because <laughs> it should be Xfinity that should be able to do it. That's where that information is coming from. Um, and you ported the, you brought the number along with you, right? Each time, or Correct. yeah. Yep. So yep. that, so when you ported the number from one carrier to another, you also ported the caller ID, <laughs> uh, which means Xfinity owns it right now. That's that's their that's their thing. Yeah, and maybe I just haven't got to somebody at Xfinity that knows anything, but. I tried it twice, once on the phone with them and once in a store. Now, Xfinity ri rides on Verizon as their carrier. They're really not a carrier themselves. They're in what's called an right. MDNO. So it's right. probably the fact that the, the Xfinity guy doesn't have access to the Verizon database. Right. Um, wow, this is a really interesting question. Um, I mean, you can't really call Verizon. They're going to say, well, you're not a customer. But it is, in fact, their their database. I bet you that Xfinity is uh, using If you had a Verizon account, you could go to My Verizon, and you could change the caller ID. But you don't. <laughs> and I bet you this is an example. And this has been a problem for Comcast, which is Xfinity, forever which was they built their network through acquisitions. They were a small Philadelphia company that acquired uh, cable company after cable company. And each one had its own computer system. And, and frankly, Comcast is notorious for doing a terrible job integrating these new computer systems into their old system. So if you ever talk to a Comcast uh, repair guy or a, a you know, somebody who's actually kind of aware of the system, they'll tell you this is a nightmare, you know, because we're using a variety of different computer systems and I and this is a perfect example. Your caller ID is stored on Verizon computers, uh, and Xfinity probably doesn't have a good way to get to that. But because you don't have a Verizon account, neither do you. <laughs> uh, you you know you could call. It might I I think they're just gonna say, well, you don't have an account with us, but you could call Verizon customer service eight hundred nine two two zero two zero four. That's the, if you were a Verizon customer, that's the way you would get your caller ID changed, or you could log into your My Verizon account. Uh, okay. uh, Xfinity should have this complete capability as well, uh, and I bet you, you know, in years to come, they will. 
But right now, it's a fairly new service built on Verizon. I bet you they don't have an interface to the Verizon database, and they can't do it. Uh, that's that's my that's my only guess. Look on your Xfinity uh, phone account. See if there is somewhere that you can um, change your caller ID. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've tried. I've looked. You know, I've looked all through the phone, and it's not there. And, uh, I've looked through the account, but I'll, I, I will certainly try it again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Other people who've had your similar uh, problem are saying the same. Thing, oh, really? That, that they can't find it either, and that every time they talk to Xfinity, Xfinity says, "Sorry, we can't change it." So it really does seem to be, unfortunately, <laughs> something that's not going to be changed. Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm sure in time, this is what has has historically happened with Comcast is eventually they absorb these systems and they figure out ways to interoperate. But it's not at all unusual uh, with Comcast for them to have multiple computer systems that don't talk to each other. And I think you found right. you found one of them. Uh, I guess okay. Here's what you could do if you re if it's really driving you crazy, which it should be, because uh, you don't work for that company anymore. Is you could do one last time. <laughs> you could port that phone number, say to something like uh, you know Google Fi or somewhere. Bring the phone number along. Uh, or move it to Verizon, change it with Verizon, and then move it back. <laughs> How much do you want to change it? Okay. <laughs> okay. How badly do you want to change your caller ID? Because that's what, I think that might be the only way to do it. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's the, uh, somebody now from the chat room has posted. Uh, okay. Mike B has posted a, from uh, the Xfinity forums. How how does how does Outbound caller ID name change. They're all saying they saying you can. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. There go. Congratulations, you're our winner. Uh, well, wow. I get a, How do you like the Xfinity service otherwise, though, Brad? Is it okay? Uh, it's been fine. Yeah, I, I've been on it since I called you. I'm actually driven from Colorado Springs today. Oh, that sounds great. As I as I've been talking to you yeah. or holding, so. Yeah. You know, it works the whole way. Right. Me off, so. Yeah, it's Verizon, so it should be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it works, works fine. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because this is exactly, uh, I'm looking at this uh, forum. We'll put a link in the show notes just for a giggle. Uh, this is exactly what people are. The name has to be fixed somewhere on the carrier side. Uh, right. And, uh, you know, the problem is you've got a, an NVNO, which apparently doesn't have access to the Verizon database, which is, I think, where it really, really has to be changed. Sorry, Brad. Hey, no problem. I appreciate the time. Pleasure talking to you. Take care. You too. Drive safe. 8888 Ashley. If you, if you know a solution, and I, uh, you probably heard me throughout the show where say, check the website or we'll put a link in the website. That is techkylabs.com. That's the uh, that's where all the show notes are. Whenever I mention a link or even just give an answer, uh, we put it up there, uh, audio and video from the show after the fact, so you can you can watch or listen to your call and get the answer and all that. And that's free. There's no sign up. There's no charge. TechGuyLabs.com. You can also, if you have gone through this and solved it, that's another way you can help by leaving a comment at the website. Uh, I, my plan is to make, you know, there's a whole idea, we've been doing this website for years now, is to make it richer and richer with more and more answers. Pretty soon I can just say, well, check the website. <laughs> no. TechGuyLabs.com. I'll check it for you. Leo Laporte, the Tech Guy. More calls. Right after this. Right now on KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk. Let's check in with the KFI News Room. I'm Amy King, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The mayor of Houston says a full investigation will be held to find out why eight people were killed at a Travis Scott concert last night. Mayor Sylvester Turner says the ages of the people killed were 14, 16, 21, 23, and 24 years uh, old. Thousands of Kaiser Permanente employees in Southern California could be walking out the job November 15th. The Vice President of the Union representing healthcare workers Charmaine Morelli says 
Members are frustrated. Our members are ready to do what it takes, and we knew it was time to give that notice. Jesus says the hospital is offering much more wage increases than it proposed. The vice president of Kaiser says they are faced with the challenge of rising health care costs. And that raises the benefits make up half of Kaiser's operational costs. The hospital says this is the deal can be reached, and the strike can be avoided. Like Storm's Day at the end of News brought to you by Rudy Zero. A moratorium on short-term rentals in Costa Mesa has been extended another year because of a spike in complaints during the pandemic. It's one thing to have a neighborhood party. It's another one to have parties seven days a week. So we had issues with parking and overflow and noise. It was just uh, unsustainable. Costa Mesa Mayor John Stevens says the city council used the time to create regulations and a permitting process. Supporters say short-term rentals offer a local property owners to earn extra income. Part of the 101 freeway near downtown LA has been closed again this weekend, so work can continue on replacing the 6th Street Viaduct. The freeway is shut down between the 10 and the 510 101 interchange until about 3 tomorrow afternoon. Crash cleared in Montebello on the 16th. That's westbound just before Will Cox has been cleared from the left lane off the freeway. Now traffic is recovering from San Gabriel Boulevard, downtown LA on the 101 north down at Spring Street. You'll see a stalled car that's stuck in the right lane. Your driver's jammed from the 10. And the Cerritos on the 91 eastbound at Bloomfield. You'll see a big red crash that still has the two right lanes shut down until further notice. So that's causing a mess from Belfar Boulevard. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Pedro Moreno. Southbound weather from KFI. It's sunny this afternoon. Highs in the 60s at the beaches. 70s for Metro LA and Inland Low Seas. Mid 70s for Low 80s for the Valleys and Inland Empire. Low clouds and fog overnight. Lows in the 40s and 50s. Soon after the burnout tomorrow, the cooler with highs just in the 60s at the beaches. 60s to uh, mid 70s inland. Here it is local. Live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Amy Kim. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. The holidays are almost here, but at Lowe's, they've already started. The pre-lit artificial tree starting at $99. And Christmas lights are low as $2.98. Not more holiday than Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to all the possibilities. While supplies last, down at 11 4 to 11 10 Something things off of your DMV to do list is now a lot faster. Wow. Because now the DMV has made it even easier to take care of tax dollars. Wow. It all starts there. Maybe you need to get your vehicle registration renewed or transfer a title. You can get it all done online from the home of the new house. So if you have DMV tax, think you spend some time and get it done online. DMV.ca.gov. Ready when you are. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer or MDC, which is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am the and T.A. I brand the 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, first negative MDC as the first hormonal based therapy.
you know, what, what happens is the phone company gradually eliminated the technology. So the earliest phones were using an analog radio technology. I don't know if you remember, but many years ago, maybe a decade ago, they finally turned those off. Those, those phones won't work because they don't have the right kind of radio. Then they did GSM, CDMA. They did 2G and 3G, they went to LTE, now they're moving to 5G, and gradually they roll off the older technology. So, in fact, uh, over the next year, 3G is going to be turned off in, uh, by all the carriers. Uh, they're not going to be supported anymore. So, unless you have a modern phone, there's no way to make it work again. You'd have to take the guts out and put new radio cameras in. Well, now so somebody called me a couple of weeks ago and said the same thing, that his phone company was saying, I don't know if, if, if uh, I don't know why you're saying that. I'm not sure that's true. I, I hate to say it, but they may be just trying to get you to buy a new phone. Because these are all the phones. I think there's lack of security updates now, and they're stuck on Android now. Well, that's, of course, but that could be common in the Android world. Uh -huh. Remember, there are literally hundreds of Android phone manufacturers, and most of them are sub-$50 phones sold in poorer countries. Those phones are stuck on Android 5 or 6 or 7. I mean, they're old. Never will never get security updates. Uh, but they're still in widespread use. This is why they're, you know, they took a large percentage of the Android phones that aren't old versions of Android. Because so they're made by, you know, the two phones made by manufacturers who don't really care. Uh, for your S8, yeah, Samsung says we're not going to pass it anymore. That's problematic. Okay. This has been the, this is, this has been the issue. In fact, Google has surprised everybody by saying that they were going to continue to do security patches for the phones they just started selling the pixel six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a hell of a bunch of companies in two years at most. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Lucy opens up Danger, I understand. Yeah, no. Wilson, <laughs> if you can do it, is actually a great thing to do. So, you certainly can root that S8. Um, I think that for a while we're trying to do things to prevent you from rooting it. My suggestion is go to a, a forum called XDA Developers. That's xda-developers.com. Search for your exact model. Not just S8, but look in the settings. There'll be a, a large, longer uh, identity number. Search for that, and there'll be a whole thread on how to root it. And they'll talk about the different, once you've rooted it, it means you can put any firmware on there. It doesn't have to be from Samsung. And once you've rooted it, there are modern firmwares you can put on there that would absolutely keep that phone alive. All right, super. I mean, try that in the boredom. You know, that's exactly what I, in fact, to answer your initial question, that's what I do with all these phones. You can't solve the problem of radios being out of date. That's a hardware issue. But if it's merely that they're not getting security patches, Absolutely, there's some excellent Android ROMs that do all sorts of interesting things. You know, they're, they're, a lot of them are um, amateur. Yeah. So, you know, but Lineage OS is okay. very, very well known. So, yeah, that's, that, that's the usually Cyan again, but it's, it's consistently been among the best ROMs. There are other ROMs that are more privacy focused. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, some of them have the Google Apps, some of them don't, depending on what you want. I think it's a great idea. It's really a fun thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, look at me. But actually, the developers will have all the instructions. You've got to follow them closely. If it's a good thing to do with a phone you don't care that much about because there's always a slight risk that you're going to have to expensive paperwork. But other than that, uh, it's certainly a good way to learn a lot about your phone. Usually, you have to connect it to the computer to get that. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that perspective, Leah. Yes, good to talk to you, Lex. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's actually one of the... I never did. I have to add this to Jim Jacobs, the reason why I'm so boring and I'm uh, under his interest. And uh, from its very beginning, it's been open source. And Google's position is always been, you should be allowed to modify the firmware on your phone. So many factors took steps to prevent that Samsung is one of them. Uh, I don't know what the current status is, but for a while they really were 
particulars about that. I mean, it's true that once you leave the phone, the, the security model is not broken. You can install a uh, dangerous software, you know, so you have to be careful. But it was kind of fun. And uh, for a long time, I kept uh, some Android phones that had not only the music, which means you have full access to the phones. You are free to put the cover of your users, because they're never worked with your administrative users, which means you can do anything you want with the phone, including the rate file, and put new firmware on.